Our 2012 CES coverage is powered by Ford. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen here at CES 2012, and I have a real treat for you guys because we found someone who can talk to us about file systems. I'm here with Jim Thomas from Paragon Software. How are you, Jim? Excellent. Thank you for having me today. I got to say, I wasn't actually expecting to run into anybody uh, in this level of IT, but this is super cool because you brought up a point that hadn't really occurred to me, you know, as a uh, Uber geek with the most ridiculous Android phone I can possibly find. I'm limited to 32 gigs. Why? Well, the Android operating system natively uh, supports a 32 gig max uh, uh, storage capacity. Um, on the market today, uh, you'll find a maximum capacity of 64 gigabytes, and that capacity is only going to grow in the future. Oh, so I can go and buy a 64 gig card, put it in my phone, and I'll be all set. I'll have like 64 gigs of awesome cat videos, right? Oh, only 32 gigs, unfortunately. Uh, there's a file uh, uh, capacity limitation there from uh, the Android operating system. Uh, however, that can be uh, uh, omit or, uh, overcome through the use of uh, Paragon's file system drivers. We'll enable you to uh, insert that, that 64 gig SDXC card uh, into the device. Uh, with our driver in place, it'll recognize the full capacity, uh, allow that card to be formatted in the XFAT uh, file system, uh, which will enable uh, fast uh, video playback, video recording, full 30 frame frames per second, uh, very smooth. Uh. So how does XFAT differ from the FAT32 that we all know and have loved for the last 20, 30 years? Yes. Uh, X, or, uh, FAT32 has uh, file system limitations, uh, such as the, 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 the uh, largest uh, file size would be uh, 2 gigabytes on an Android tablet, 4 gigabytes on a, on a Windows device. Uh, there's no security with uh, FAT32. I know, isn't that half the fun? Uh, exactly. And uh, you know, why, why do you want to uh, ble put bleeding edge technology and a legacy file system together when uh, Microsoft's come out with a file system optimized for external storage that's uh, you know, set to play back uh, any media of, uh, media of any type? Okay, so how does this work with Android? Do I have to have like a rooted device to be able to run your file system drivers? Because it sounds pretty low level. Yeah, today you would have to root your device. Uh, we would have to, uh, you know, uh, provide some low level instructions for inserting the driver into the device. So Paragon works with tier one, top tier OEMs uh, to integrate the, the driver into uh, Android devices, other platforms. Uh, without uh, having the user get their hands dirty. Okay, and you guys also do more than just like XFAT. You guys integrate a lot of other file system drivers. Uh, what other, you know, in, in what other platforms can we find and what other kind of drivers? Absolutely. You can find NTFS for Mac, uh, enable your Mac to write to uh, NTFS formatted external drives. Uh, we have HFS for Windows, allow you to write to an HFS formatted volume. We have NTFS for Linux which will allow you to write uh, from uh, Linux uh, to uh, NTFS volume, and just uh, a number of cross-platform connectivity options. And can we expect some ZFS here in the future? Uh, we sure hope so. All right, thank you so much, Jim. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you. Now, thank for you continued time. coverage of CES 2012, go ahead and head over to revision3.com slash CES. Find all our coverage. And once again, thank you to Ford for powering our coverage. With Sync Services, you can use the power of your voice to stay in control of your Ford Focus driving experience. You can even use Sync to get the current weather report for where you are or where you are going. Sync Services make it happen, all while your hands stay on the wheel and your eyes on the road. Weather. Weather. Press the voice button and see a city and state. San Francisco, California. San Francisco, California. At 2.18 p.m., it's partly sunny and it's 51 degrees with a slight breeze. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.